Live from the studio where we use a piece of wood to mount a camera, it is episode number 37 of the No Holds Barred podcast. And when I say we use a piece of wood to mount the camera, that's not a metaphor in any way, shape, or form. It's actually legitimately what we are currently doing. Taped uh, with electrical tape. Yeah, electrical tape around a half-cut piece of wood has one of those little security cameras that can go black and white. <laughs> and that's what we're streaming with. Because night vision, <laughs> Justin. Night yeah, vision. Sorry, night vision, yes. Because uh, that's just the professional kinds of folks that we are around these parts. Uh, so it is episode number 37 of the No Holds Barred podcast, and we have a special guest one more time. We might as well just fucking call it now. It's pretty much a three-man show, because yeah. <laughs> he's been here the last three episodes in a row at least, if that's, not four. That's kind of, I feel kind of bad for you guys. Which, I mean, the, t- to be fair, that spans <laughs> like six months, yeah. <laughs> but still. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we have Tyler one more time from MediaDetour.com, your woo. detour for media on a dot, dot com. com. Yay. Hooray. I, I like how I don't even do the advertising. <laughs> nope. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Fuck it. You, what you need to learn is on this podcast, I talk <laughs> <laughs> and you two laugh occasionally <laughs> and everyone listens. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest joke of them all. <laughs> So, we are back. It is Saturday, February 28th in the year of our Lord 2015, I suppose. And, uh, and before yeah. we say anything else, uh, as everybody knows, yesterday, uh, Leonard Nimoy died. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of the things that I did definitely want to touch on. Uh, Leonard Nimoy, actor, of course, famous for playing Mr. Spock on Star Trek, uh, passing away at the age of 83 from... It was... Fi- it was last stage copd wasn't it yeah and from smoking i didn't know he smoked well he hasn't he hasn't he hadn't smoked for i think it was like 30 years or something like he quit a long ass time ago but uh, he had smoked so much when he did smoke that he had just kind of lived with copd for for quite some time and mm. yeah we lost a national goddamn treasure in oh Dino. for sure I, so peace was... and long life and live long and prosper because i'm a trekkie and i know you are too just growing up watching him and it's just you know when you lose somebody that like you grow up watching and kind of like grows on you like family it's just wow kevin smith said something kind of interesting about it he's like he was he was the he was like the great friend that i never actually met because like he never actually met him, but he kind of he was kind of that personality or whatever that he kind of felt like. I know I've never met this person, but I feel like I've met this person. Mm-hmm. And so it's it is, you know, it is it is a loss. And I mean, you know, because I mean, Nimoy was still acting. I mean, like he was in the the two the two rebooted Star Trek movies be through some time travel bullshit. And, yeah, uh, you know, it's it's. So it does. It does kind of suck. They'll obviously need to kind of, I guess, write him out. I would assume he was going to be in the third one. I, I would for a assume. Cameo, so yeah, I'll have to try to find a way to write him out. But uh, that was, uh, yeah, that was that was kind of the unfortunate news that uh, that hit us yesterday. Like I didn't, I didn't grow up with the original series. I never really watched the original series. No? Like I watched Next Generation was my jam. <clears throat> okay, and I never really went back and watched the original series. You but should. I know like that's like the big debate yeah. was between like. The original series and next generation. I'm not going to say that the original series was the best. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of things that Next Gen has done to the the Star Trek franchise that has made it better. Yeah. But the original Star Trek is still the original. Right. It's still going to be, whereas not the best best, the best... Because it was the first. Yeah, and we we kind of Tyler and I kind of talked about this before the show, and in now this is in reference to something completely different. I was going to say when. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no I this, clearly wasn't here for this conversation. <laughs> this was in reference to uh, Neil Neil Blomkamp, uh, oh. who has a movie coming out uh, in a little in just uh, like actually a just yeah, like a week or two I weeks or whatever. A week. I think it's um, Chappie, which looks really good. He's the guy that directed District Nine. Okay, and uh, so it's yes, like I've seen that on a poster. Yeah, so like we, we and we look at Chappie and we're like, man, Chappie's probably going to be good, but it's not. Even if even if it's 
ends up being like a better quote unquote better movie than District Nine, it's never going to be better than District Nine oh because it was God. the first. Was right? Like what if a Chappie is just going to be a remake of Wally? No, <laughs> a gritty, not a gritty live action remake of Wally. <laughs> yeah, that, interesting. That's that is that is actually kind of interesting. Because I wouldn't be it's humanity's last hope. <laughs> first Wally. Half of Wally, Wally was helpful. Was... The first half of Wally was pretty gritty, anyway. It, well, it was like yeah, thirty minutes true. of no talking with a <laughs> yeah. little robot alone on a planet picking up trash. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's true. Wall- Wally, for the record, is one of the eleven movies that I consider to be "quote unquote" perfect movies. Like I fucking love me some Wally. Wally, that's great. such a great movie. It's the best uh, thing Pixar has done. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of the best thing that Pixar has done, it's time for the Noel Smart <laughs> Taste Test. And Pixar, oh my god, they nailed that one. Transition! Actually, I think I nailed this because I've never seen or have heard of or tasted this beer before. Right. And, and just for a little more context, if Nick hasn't drank it, it probably didn't exist <laughs> at the time. <laughs> no, that's that's mean. But if Nick hasn't if Nick hasn't tried it, he knows that I haven't tried it. Most likely. So, so, without further ado, we have <clears throat> Sir John A's Honey Wheat Ale Beer. All natural ingredients and no pasteurization. Sir jo- oh, oh, it's done by it's done by uh, Gahan. Okay. Yeah. Didn't we try? We tried a Gahan, didn't we? At some point, it wasn't this one, but we tried a Gahan. It wasn't, uh, yeah, we did, but Hmm. it wasn't this one per se. Sir John A's Honey Wheat Ale. Huh. 4.5%. Old fashioned, like, pipe music when you're reading this. It's true. When you're you're invoking (laughs) Sir John A, (laughs) you need the old fashioned. Music, so that's so that's not going to open without the uh, without our openers there. So, uh, Nick, if you want to okay. go ahead, crack yours on the mic, on on the bike, because this is what we do. Exactly. Actually, did did we scrutinize the label first? Oh no, that's or, not fair or enough. The uh, bottle per se. It's a it's a not a like skinny. Bottle? Yeah, it's not. It's not a stubby, but it's not a skinny. It's, it's kind of somewhere in the yeah, middle. It's in the middle. It's like skinny it's, fat, if you will. <laughs> it's a hybrid um, freak at the bottle world. Exactly. You can see. You can see it on stream here if you're watching us on Twitch. I, I kind of like it though, and the label is. I feel like you could use that buddy as he's come from money. That buddy as in Sir John A. <laughs> MacDonald? <laughs> just, yeah. just some guy. You know, that buddy that's on the bottle. That guy looks familiar. <laughs> I love who that is. It's a fucking prime minister. <laughs> Didn't I see him downtown? And Jesus, Nick. Just like you know, this is a winner, uh, a gold winner of Canadian... Um, the Canadian Medal, 2011. A uh, Canadian Brewing Association, or and something a 2012. like that. 2012. So it is a gold medal winning beer. Ooh. So let's see how well we can do with a gold medal winning okay. beer. Okay. First open. Just a tiny little. Just a tiny little snap. Am I supposed to do this now? Yeah, man. That was a little bit more. Nice. Okay. That didn't even fall. Mine didn't even fall on the floor. No, it's true. Me, 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 me. You, you, I'm the best. You owned it. You're the best. I'm the, best. I'm the best beer drinker ever. Simply the best. Ale. Better than all the rest. Ding. Okay. Now. So, for the record, Nick was the only one who dropped his cap on the floor. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> The alcoholic fail that exactly. alcohol. We have the smell. Yes. Tyler. <laughs> Impressions. <laughs> I might as well just get this over with. Smells like beer to me. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like beer. I knew that was what you were going to say. That's why we started with you. <laughs> I mean, I'll give it another go. Yeah. Still beer. <laughs> I like it. Um, I have a little bit of uh, cocoa. A cocoa, yeah, smell to it. 
If you really get up in there, <laughs> if you mean, if, if, if you really if, get if by up, cocoa, you mean beer. <laughs> if you really get up in them guts, <laughs> yeah, just put that right to your nostril and. I don't really get that. I can't. I can't. I no. can't do it. No, no. But I, this is why I like listening to Nick talk like, about it. Yeah, fair enough. If, if you really Nick's the fucking it, connoisseur. There's it really a. It, it smells almost fruity. Yes, I mean you get the. Um, you get what's in it, like the hops mm-hmm. yeah, and yeah. everything. I mean, you can smell those, and then there's a little bit sweet, but then you get the. It's it's almost like either a French vanilla or a coffee. I'm still not getting. I'm getting. I'm getting the sweet, but I'm still not getting the. Uh, no, maybe it's like a French vanilla rather mm, than I'm the, rather really than. Uh, I know. <laughs> Tyler's giving it the old college try here. Like he's really going for I'm it. I'm trying not to leave Nick hanging. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to move more towards a French vanilla. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I, I mean, like, I think the 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 sweetness of it's probably coming from the honey, mm. like whatever honey kind of extract is in it. But the um, yeah, I, I I hate to leave you hanging on the French vanilla thing. <clears throat> I'm just I'm not I'm not it, really? I'm not saying it's not there. I'm just not getting it. Okay. I guess okay. I tried, Nick. I tried. This is this is why again, as I said, this is why Nick is the connoisseur. <laughs> it's honestly, it's true. Maybe, maybe I, maybe I'm full of shit. And maybe oh, no. he's already drunk. <laughs> maybe he's just high. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Okay, first swig doesn't mean anything. No, exactly. Yeah. First, first drink means nothing. Here we go. Okay. All right. Second drink is the all important. Mm. For anyone who has never listened to this before, I'm sure they're waiting for us to get to the point where we're fucking loaded and we're like, 29th drink is the one that counts. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I love this. And then we just fucking pass out and that's the end of the podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Getting drunk with the Um, gang. I have a thought. Shoot. It's more bitter than I thought it was going to be. Yes. And I think, I don't know why, like, I, I, I should have kind of figured that it was going to be bitter because it's more weedy. So, like, I kind of figured that it was going to, sh- I should have figured, rather, that it was going to be a little more bitter than it was. Um, but, yeah, I was expecting, I think I was expecting a little more sweet and got more bitter than I thought I was going to get. It's not it, bad. It, no, I was just waiting, well, kind of waiting for the sweetness to kick in. And I didn't really get it, on the, even on the second one. No. I mean, it's it's more sweet when you're drinking it and then the aftertaste you get more of the bitterness I, I, yeah it's almost like anything really like that double ipa that we had right total yeah, yeah, yeah. horrible like it tasted good going down <laughs> and then the after it was just like oh, oh this yeah is the, just the, the after effect was like a crow cop left head kick like yeah. it was it was awful <laughs> it was really bad um, this, uh, this, this is perfectly fine as, uh, for me, as far as beers go, this isn't, it, it certainly isn't the best one that we've, that we've had no. on the show, but it's also certainly not the worst one. Certainly not the worst. <laughs> what what would we say the worst is, is the worst one? Shock top. Shock top, you think? See, I see, I would have gone shanty because we really shanty? didn't like that record shanty. Yeah, I know, but that was... The, the shanty was drinkable. The mm. shock top, it tasted like lemon peels and yeah, like yeah, that's shit fair. Like that. That's fair. It was just uh... so we'll give uh, we'll give Sir John A's Honey Wheat Ale a pass. Good on uh, good on Gahan. It's 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 an all right beer. <laughs> I got okay, a right. I got a question. Out of, okay, out of one to ten. Oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah. Why do you guys only do beers? I don't know. It why was do, I'm just a, I'm just wondering. Like, why do you why do you guys not do other drinks? It it may go farther than that. Yeah. I don't know. This is just a tradition. It's actually, I, I probably enjoy other drinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Um, well, to be perfectly honest, I probably would. Too. And it's all about um, me. I, exactly. It it's all about, about you, Tyler now. Um, I, you know, I don't know. I think it's just it started with beer, so we've always yeah. just kind of stuck with it. Yeah. But fair dudes. I mean, there's there's like there's a bunch of um, like ciders and stuff that I would love for us to try because I found a couple that are just ciders, un- unbelievable energy drinks. I'd like to have a really girly drink. Milkshakes. I had a sex change. Exactly. 
Tyler, for the record, is now Tylina. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, Shanae. 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 Chewing a gum and not taking no guff off nobody. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, so okay, Sir R- John A's rating wise. Rating. Okay. Um, the rate the bottle out of one to ten. I like the bottle. I'll give I'll give the bottle a seven. Yeah, I I would go a seven as well. Tyler's mulling over this. It's tough. I don't know. I find it. I mean, it is like got the old timey feel. Back in the old timey days. The old timey days, but I'm not really a fan. 4.5. 4. 4.5. 7.32106 out of 10. Point. <laughs> There's two decimal points in there. Damn. That's Justin's fault, not me. Not mine. Okay. This is now an IP address, not a ranking. Yeah. The smell. Justin. I mean, the smell was only 50-50 for me. Um, like I say, I picked up a bit of the sweetness, but then didn't end up really getting the sweetness in the beer itself. So, I mean, I'm looking at probably a, probably a six, I guess. What do you think, Nick? I'm going to give the smell straight out of 1940. 19, 1,940 out of 10? <laughs> <laughs> no, just out of the 1940s. Oh, just, just, stra- oh, just straight out of the 40s. Yeah. All right, fair enough, fair enough. How about Tyler? <laughs> smells like beer. <laughs> <laughs> I give it one smells like beer out of one. Smells like beer. So that All would right. be a 10. That That's would be a 10. A 10. <laughs> For okay. smelling like beer, it smells like beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and fair enough. Taste. Just. It's like a, like I say, it's like a, probably a, probably a six or a seven. I guess I'll, I'll lean, I'll lean on a seven because I don't, I don't outwardly dislike it. It's just like, I, like I say, I kind of expected a little more. Honey and a little more sweetness than I got, and I didn't really get it. So I'll, I'll go. I'll go seven. I mean, it tastes. It tastes like beer. It's fine. <laughs> hey, you took my comment. Damn, <laughs> it tastes like beer. Nick, what do you think? Eighteen beer out of a twenty-four pack. So that would be Jesus. Uh, he's making like this a difficult. 60, that'd be like a six point <laughs> seven five or something. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So for me, it settles right around like a six and a half to a seven. Yeah. Yeah. I would say. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'd, I would I would drink it again. So That's probably the best thing I can say about it. I would drink it again. It's settled. Okay. Start pipe music here. Sir John A. <laughs> Sir John A.'s Honey Wheat Ale. We give a 6.5 or 7. Good drinking. Stay thirsty, my friends. <laughs> Copyright somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Someone not, else us. not us. Good job, guys. All right. Let's have another one. Hooray! 16 more beer. Yay! We're not going anywhere tonight. Yeah, exactly. Justin, you got no plans. Yeah, I guess my, my plans have now <laughs> firmly fallen through. Um, all right, folks. So that is the No Holds Barred taste test of, one more time, Gahan Sir John A's Honey Wheat Ale, which I'm sure is probably only available in this part of the country. Well, no, or rather this country, I suppose. It was on sale, so I don't know if it's going out of style. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Could very well be. John A never goes out of style. Oh, historical references on the No Holds Barred podcast. (laughs) It's true. He never goes out of style. Now that is Nick's interpretive dance there. That's amazing. (laughs) Wow. It even looks better on camera. It does. It does. It looks great on camera. Oh, uh uh-oh. Knocked off the Punisher hat. Oh jeez! My, my hat hair. Nick, Your hair. Nick hair, is officially hair, obsessed hair, with Tylina's hair. hair. Yeah, <laughs> sexy. All right. So before this thing goes totally off the rails, uh, <laughs> let's move on. Uh, let's uh, let's just talk about. Like I say, it's been again been a little while since we did a podcast. So, uh, Nick, what's been what's been new with you, sir, since the last time uh, the last time we all convened here? Snow fell. Yeah, a lot of fucking snow. 
A lot of snow. Is fell. that what that is? That's what that In white Canada? stuff. Canada? Yeah, it's not. It's not cocaine, Tyler. Mm. <laughs> you probably stop putting it up my nose. Though. Yeah, exactly. That's why it was so cold. Huh. <laughs> I haven't burned the inside of my nose. I've just frozen it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got a fuck ton of snow over the last, like, w- three weeks Yeah, to a month. Like, it's been ridiculous. It's, uh... it's the most snow I remember in a long-ass time. Since the 90s. Good job, boys. <laughs> I was trying to think of the year. Uh, yeah. Yeah, since like, yeah. I think it was like since, since like, the 90s or something. Yeah, I like think late I think 90s. That's what they said. Something yeah. weird. Like, I mean, I remember that one. The, there was one winter where we had we had a lot of snow, and that was when we were still in high school. Because I remember us bombing around in your car, <laughs> um, like fishtailing around corners. And <laughs> when we ran into that snowbank, I said that. <laughs> Outside that apartment building, yeah. and people came over and dug us out. <laughs> just thinking, oh, these guys ran to the snow. Like, no, like, no, we, we were big assholes. We, we intentionally ran into the snowbank. <laughs> I remember me and Richard, as the presumed two strongest members of the, being in the car at that point, aside from you because you had to be behind the wheel. <laughs> we were trying to push the car. You were like cranking it in reverse and we were trying to push the car out of the snowbank fucking stupid like just just fucking dumb oh my but eventually we did get the we good old days out. yeah the good old days exactly so we had i mean we had a lot of snow at that point but um like the, it, like kind of kind of like tyler said it's like it's been since like the 90s since we've had this level of snow I remember uh, there was another year. I don't think it was the same year, but it was it was like within the same time frame because we were still in high school. Yeah, because it was it was when Sobeys was still where the movie theater is now. So this is how long ago this was. Okay, you remember that big giant snowbank yes. that they had that one year, the one that you went up on the top of and slid down, and that's when you like was one of the times that you really fucked up your knee. Yes, because you just like slammed into a chunk of ice knee well, first I, I did that once and then we were up with gt racers one mm-hmm. time and i went down and my like leg got tangled up and through the gt racer some odd way Somehow. <laughs> if anybody's gonna find a way to do that yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be nick and i i so wish i had these pictures because same place stanwood sobeys used to be mm-hmm. and the how they plowed it up, they plowed the snow up, and then there was a drop. Yeah. And then there was, like, snow on the bottom, and it was good. And me and Richard and I don't know if it was Tyler or who it was, but we'd just go up and just jump and just friggin' land on our backs <laughs> <laughs> down the snow. What? And what the fuck made you think that was a good idea? <laughs> it, it, it was soft snow, and it oh, was well, fun. Yeah, fair enough. It, 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 it was pictures for the car. Oh, fair enough. Fair and enough. when when I deleted the website, I lost those pictures. Yeah. I was. I think I think pissed. we've we've told that story on the podcast, haven't we? Of the the, the 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 untimely demise of that website. <laughs> I think we. I know. Fucking beyond belief. Fucking awful. Um. Although I, I, I must I must admit we've had enough snow this winter that I have absolutely contemplated going up onto my roof and just jumping off. <laughs> like I really, really have. You can't you can't really do it now because there's not a nice vereen yeah. of fucking <laughs> ice <laughs> on top of the snow. <laughs> Which won't exactly lend too much to that. But even me, when I I do not like heights to one little degree. Even me, I'm just like if you find but I could do that and not hurt myself. If you find me a soft spot out there, you can snap suplex me <laughs> in the snow. Oh, that'd be great. Well, I think we know what we're going to have to yep. do for the next next No Holds Barred special. Justin snap suplexes Nick. It breaks his neck. Or just a suplex. No, snap suplex. Now you said snap. You can't, you you can't, can't back go out back. of it now. <laughs> All right. Well, um, what else? Um, what else? Aside from obviously, aside from all the fucking snow that really we've all that we've all had to fucking deal with. Uh, it's just the same old shit. With is it? Me. I mean, we we're getting our level one done. Okay. Uh, which is nice. That's a long time coming. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, working a lot or trying to, mm-hmm. not just at work but at the fire department. 
Right. Learned how to do many things like fucking T4As, oh, which yeah. those suck. <laughs> Especially when you have a program that generates some, but you can't because you don't have what is called a payroll ID because you got to pay for that. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. It's always about the money, isn't it? It is. Always about the money. Money sucks. Money does suck. I've I've learned that in like the past year of paying bills that aren't mine with <laughs> money that isn't mine. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> for a second that sounded kind of fun, but then you're like bills that aren't mine. I'm like, ah, that's no fun. Mm. Matter of fact, I remember reading an article from a certain underground uh zine that only had one uh one publication written by someone named J.R.R. Jordan about how money was fucking weird. What? Do you remember that? Well, that was quite a descriptive uh <laughs> Yeah, the old zine that we were gonna make. Yeah, that was we should still do that. The one episode the one publication zine. And we were gonna we... like Splatter them around town We're and just like slip them in bomb places. The fucking yeah. town. that's still a decent idea. I'd, yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd go for that. We should do it. <laughs> just need to find people to write. This is there's enough angry people in the world. I'm sure there's yeah. Like we want to talk about money and politics. But you could still do like up. some comedic things. Oh yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Well. That's you know what? It's not a bad idea. We should talk about doing that. Yes. Because it's also a relatively cheap thing to uh, just print out. You just shit. print. You just <laughs> you print stable shit. it together, like, and you're like stable them together by hand. You slip it like, in between real newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, or just inside of real newspapers. Yeah. That that's probably illegal. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> what do you mean? You can't. You, you can't fuck with the the state funded news. Yes. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to start getting, we'll start getting off the anarchist rails if we keep talking about this for too long. Yay, Especially anarchy. This guy. Yeah, exactly. Yay, anarchy. So that's pretty much it. That's, that's, that's pretty well it. My, yeah. my life is a roller coaster. Roller coaster of baby, baby. <laughs> I want to ride. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. <laughs> Sexy. Um, yeah, you know what? Mine's not. Mine's not a ton different either. It's basically just been work, um, though less, quite a bit less work than I had been getting before. Um, that's supposed to pick up now because we have wonderful, loving inventory. Yeah. Work inventory, which is probably, it's like the anti Christmas. Like it's the worst fucking day of the year when you have to do inventory at, at my job because it's, Sundays were only open until five o'clock anyway. Yeah. But then when we're doing inventory, we're there from five o'clock to if we're lucky ten. Bring me down. I can do inventory. I would fucking It's a book. I it's would a book. It's a book. It's another book. This is a big book. This is this a, big is a big short book. book. This is hardcover. <laughs> this is a kid's book. <laughs> this is this, this is, is Fifty is Shades of Grey. This is Playboy magazine. Ooh, Ooh, I'll be right back. <laughs> you had one inventory. Now you have zero. No, I'm taking it. Uh, this <laughs> this one this one's damaged. <laughs> Some of the pages are stuck together. This one's damaged. No, it isn't. Rip. <laughs> it's damaged. It is now. <laughs> Can I take this home? <laughs> Playboy, the reading man's porn. Yeah, exactly. I only. Speaking of Playboy, where's our calendar? Oh, that's true. Shit, we got a calendar. So you got a calendar, a Playboy yeah, it, calendar? No, and it's, oh, it's okay. not. It's not a play. It's a. It's the Sports Illustrated calendar. I think I see it up there on top of the fridge. Uno momento. You guys talk. Okay. We should take a moment to appreciate Playboy. Yes, Playboy, we love you. It is truly an institution. Sponsor us, please. And while <laughs> it's not what you go to when you want raunchy shit, there's good articles. Or there was. I haven't read a Playboy in years. Yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> I should start reading Playboy. I haven't read a Playboy since my last subscription came. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I have to renew. Just going to show on the stream here, we have last year's Sports Illustrated calendar, which we I wasn't, we weren't crafty enough to have enough forethought to put up on, like, the door. It's this year's now. Yeah. Now it's, yeah. 
We're just going to scratch out last year's state and put yeah. in 2015. Exactly. Uh, you can't really tell on the stream unless you already know, but that's Kate Upton on the cover, who is apparently like <laughs> this year's. <laughs> I took a little pause to just rub Kate Upton in Tyler's face. Um, Damn, that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> smells like. <laughs> Smells like awful. Um, but what's our month? Oh, our our month in fe- uh, what month are we in? <laughs> February. February. Where the, where the uh, last part let's of February? In February, our model was Irina Shake. That guaranteed. That's a fake. What name. does she shake? Yeah. What does she shake? Ooh. Shake, shake, She's shake. not bad. She's, She's not bad. bad. She got, like her. She got a little weird nose. I'd let her sleep does with she? me. She does. Yeah, she. Let me see that nose. Just a little bit. Yeah, it looks not like that bad. What? No. It's just, <laughs> two out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> two out of ten weird nose. No. Yeah. Um, weird nose. Nick's pulling yeah, better Nick's bitches just... on the daily. <laughs> <laughs> And then he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> then he, he turns realizes off his it's computer. all on the dot com. <laughs> then he texts Justin. <laughs> He's like, I need to do something with my life. <laughs> so we promise next time we do the podcast, we'll have that up on the wall here behind us somewhere. Yeah. So we can so we can appreciate last year's, this year's, we last can appreciate year's sports. The female, the female body. Exactly. I also have upstairs, upstairs upstairs this year's sports illustrated but it's a page a day calendar oh. so it's a different girl every day ooh 365 days of the lady 365 <laughs> jerk a day yes yeah. 365 girls i will never even touch yeah. <laughs> or speak to or speak to <laughs> maybe tweet Maybe yeah. yeah, yeah. It's 365 <laughs> days of girls I will tweet at to no response. <laughs> oh Jesus! 365 days of Twitter. That's, Ooh, that's poetic. That is. I haven't. I don't know the last time I've been on Twitter. The last time I was on Twitter was before the podcast started. Last time I was on Twitter was yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I hey. pay. I I find now that like. Now that I actually have like a a Twitter follower base that's a decent size, I pay more attention to it. I guess I didn't when I didn't pay as much attention to it. I guess when I had like I was following like nineteen hundred people and I had like a hundred followers or something like that. Like because my my ratio has always been ridiculous. I just I just followed everybody mm. and I shouldn't have. Like I went through and I. Just recently, I went through and I unfollowed like 350 to 400 accounts that are just like, I have no reason to be following this account anymore. Most of them were MMA fighters because it was like when I was big into MMA, I was just following everybody. But then it was just like, do I really need to be following fucking Sean Shirk? Probably not. So nah. so I just went and that's, that's just a graphic example. But uh, that's so why I just went and unfollowed a bunch of them. Are so. you following Dylan Sharp? <laughs> no. No, I'm not. I'm not following Dylan. Are you Sharp. following Dylan Harper? I'll leave, that, I'll leave that one out for you guys. Dylan Harper. I don't know who that is. Well, you'll find out. I'll find out. All right. I'll give you <laughs> do some my, research. My you'll post, enjoy it. My post podcast okay, research. Are you sure. following MC Hammer? <laughs> Does MC Hammer have a Twitter? account? I don't know. That would be amazing. It would. I'm gonna fucking look and see if MC Hammer has a Twitter account. That's for sure. Anybody out there uh, that would be that's listening to this, do you know if MC Hammer has a Twitter He's account? Got to hit us up on the Facebook page. He has tell to. us if MC Hammer's Twitter. MC really Hammer, has to. hit us up on the Facebook page. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because he's listening. You know he is. Totally. Yeah. What else does he have to somebody, do? Somebody calls him. He's just like, hey, these three white boys on a podcast yourself. is talking about you, Sam C. Hammer. <laughs> MC Hammer totally has a Twitter they account. They want to know if you have a Twitter account and if it's really you or not. At MC Hammer. Now, I, want, I doubt it's really him. No, it's verified. But I mean, like, oh, I, I wonder. Yeah. I wonder if he actually posts. Yeah, if he if he's actually. But the then one again, he's not, he's not really doing anything with his life now, is he? <laughs> I so can't he probably imagine. has some time. So he probably just sits there on fucking his Twitter account. He does have three point four million followers. Wow. And follows 
60,300. Which wow, is nice that's respectable. Celebrities usually only follow like a couple hundred. Yeah, yeah. Like just, just like the ones that are kind of important to them. Maybe, maybe MC Hammer is on hashtag Team Followback. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing if you followed MC? It's like you've been followed by MC Hammer. <laughs> I follow like, back yes. for the record. Yeah, absolutely. But you know what I hate about you know what I hate on Twitter when you like somebody follows me, so I follow them back. Of right. course. Mm-hmm. And then you get, like, a DM that's just them pimping their oh, shit to God. you. It's like an automated thing, but it's not yeah. even like a, hey, how are you doing, man, or anything. It's like, hey, make sure to check out my single. And, and then yeah. I don't. I don't do it no, because I'm yeah. like, no, fuck you. If you aren't willing to be like, hey, how's it going? Thank-. Like, just be like, hey, thanks for the follow. And then I'll go, oh, thank thank you for the follow. And then you can be like, hey, you want to check out my song? I probably would. Right. Yeah, After exactly. that. Fucking human interaction is really all yeah. that is asked for. Like that's some automated bullshit. And that's all I get. The internet isn't meant for human interaction. It's true. The internet is made for yeah. automated interactions. <laughs> and porn. Yeah. And, porn. and porn. The internet is for porn. porn. The internet, internet is for porn. porn. Just grab your dick and double click for porn. 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 <laughs> One of the greatest internet and one of the earliest internet yeah. viral videos of all time. It was fantastic. It was like right at the beginning of Wow, wasn't it? I don't know when that was. I think it was like right, right at the beginning of. Like, but that first was like year originally a stage show, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then like that. And then that part, of that song, really hit it. Hit it because of the World of Warcraft video. Um. Yeah. No. That's that was, and and it's still one of the best. Fuck Wow. Fuck wow. Just thought I should say it. Fuck wow. Fuck wow. I don't wow know what's, it's, what's in and me. And it's that, longevity. It's, I don't know what's in me that makes me be fuck like, everything. fuck wow. But there's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I thought about getting into it for a little bit, and I was just like, I don't think I can do this. Especially now that they're at the point where, like, okay, here's a new expansion. Um, automatically level up to level 90 for free. It's like, really? Mm-hmm. But... If, so if I'm just starting a new game and just get this expansion, I'm going to go from level 0 to level 90, like, immediately? I don't like that. No, that it makes just, no it sense. Robs me, it robs me of the gameplay experience. I can't do the MMO thing for long periods of time no. anyway. Like, I'm not the kind of guy who's going to spend four years with a game. No. Like, I might go, I might go back to a game, you know, after four years. Be like, oh, yeah. I should play this. But I'm not sticking like i'm not sticking with a game like if you're lucky to get a couple months out of me yeah 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 absolutely like as it seems like the the one that i think kind of s- struck me that i i think i was even a little surprised at how long you did play it and this is a credit to how good the game is i guess would have been rust and then even rust no, you kind of walked i didn't play rust long oh i thought see i thought no you did. because rust is an alpha Oh, I think yeah, I, I yeah, think yeah. I could play Rust longer if it ever ever sees a release. <laughs> if it ever sees the light of day. Yeah, then I I think I could put some time into that. But okay. no, I only played for like a week. Oh, was it? I got, yeah. Maybe it just seemed like it was longer than that. Nah. That I just wanted to see what it was like. Yeah. And then I pieced out, and I I own it, so I'm just waiting for full release. Anywho, it's very nice. Nice. and that old H one Z one, which. I, I, I've watched uh, a buddy of mine, Vaughn, uh, Vaughn Whiskey on Twitch. Um, Advertising. Streamed, exactly. Streamed some H1Z1 for a while, and uh, he kind of even fell out with it. He was just like, I don't know. I just don't enjoy this game anymore. And I like I like, I like, like the zombie genre, but I don't I don't know. that it didn't, it didn't strike me that H1Z1 was kind of anything really particularly special, I guess. I don't know. I haven't played H one Z one because uh, I refuse to pay for a game that's in alpha that's gonna be free when it comes out. Yeah. They are literally making Fair you enough. pay for their broken, unfinished game now <laughs> and then when it comes out it'll be free. Why? Because video games. Yeah, so I won't because, do that. Yeah. I would have played it. I wanna right. play it because it's like a it sounded like a mixture of Daisy and Russ. Like it sounded mm-hmm. like they took the things from each game that I wanted. Yeah, but I won't do it until it comes out for free. No, like fair it was going to eventually, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? It seems like from what I've heard, it seems like it's a lot farther along than Rust is. 
and DayZ, which is never coming out. No. Anybody who bought DayZ, it's just never coming out. That's, you wasted your money. That's that's just de- that's development hell yeah, right that's, there. That's done. It might come out in like 10 years. <laughs> somebody will just find it on somebody's computer and just be like, we should probably release this game. <laughs> oh, here yeah. you go. Patch? No, we're not going to patch it. Nah. <laughs> no patches. Just play it as it is. Um, well, that's kind of a, a bit of a segue into video gaming for me in the fact that I finally fucking unboxed my PS4. No time. <laughs> because God. as of our last Fuck. episode, I hadn't done that yet. It was still fucking sitting there. So I finally unboxed my PS4, and it was... It's not it was. <laughs> it's already broken. Uh, <laughs> no, it is. It is glorious. It is fantastic. Now, I only have the one game for it, which is... <laughs> I only have the one game, but it just happened to be probably the uh, one of the best games of the last generation, which is the remastered version of The Last of Us, speaking of zombies. Uh, and it's uh, it's just a great game. Like, I'm about, I don't know, maybe 10 to 12 hours into it. Well, then you're probably close this to point. the end. Um, no, I've Unless been, you I've suck. Been, I, I, well, I, <laughs> I do suck. Um, but, I no, I've been, I've been going quite slow. Um, so I'm trying to get my enjoyment out of it because I don't know, I don't know whether I'll like replay a new game plus. Um, I might, but like, I don't know. I'm still kind of on the fence about whether I will play it again. Uh, so I'm taking my time with the first playthrough because I just kind of want to stretch it out. Um, but no, it's, it's, it's glorious. Like it's, it's great. I suck at that game. (laughs) I'm really, really bad. Does uh yeah. does PS4 uh, yes. go backwards? No. No, but there's like the PlayStation Now thing. Wait, PlayStation Now. Yeah. That they do they will it's like a service to like rent old games and whatnot. Like you what? stream you stream them. So they're doing that. I don't know what state that's in now. That is know. stupid. That's well, what, I mean But like, that's where the but that's where yeah. technology is. Unfortunately. It's all in this p- point where like you stream everything, and I'm I'm hesitant because it's like oh I'm renting this game, and I'm gonna play it online, and then my internet's gonna go down, and I won't be able to play it, or it'll yeah. kick me out. But that's where we're at now. Like we're at the point now where if you have a shitty internet connection, tough shit. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, it's, it's, it sucks, it's pretty but... much done. Which is which is why it shocks me that like you look at the U.S. Uh, that is supposed to be like the biggest. You know, oh, we're the most powerful country in the world, whatever. They have, like, the 30th ranked internet in the <laughs> world as, like, a world superpower. I don't know where, I don't know what Canada's is, but I know the U.S. was, like, just hanging on to, like, the top 30. Wow. Which, to me, was crazy because it's, like, you think they're, the, like, the biggest, you know, they're, they're the most important country in the world, blah, blah, blah. But well, it's just yeah. like, well, you know, 30th ranked internet, <laughs> I guess. And that's where the world Terrible. is going. So now you're... Now you're only inside the top thirty. Um, that does suck. That is not backwards. Yeah, like I, but... I really liked the PS2 with like built-in, yeah, fucking backwards compatibility to PS1 because I was like, oh shit, I can still play Final Fantasy VII on my PS2. <laughs> yeah, I mean they're trying to work around it with like yeah. all the downloads of classic titles or renting, but it's just not the same. But I mean, consoles at this point. Ooh, we went. <laughs> night we went vision. black and white. Consoles at night this point are like mode. that. Yeah, it's not flipping back. It's, it's not. It's not flipping back either. Well, we're just gonna stay in night. We vision just got here arcade. For a few minutes. Whatever. Um, we're an old black and white <laughs> flag now. If you happen to be watching us on Twitch, the podcast just got super classy. <laughs> <laughs> we are Al- Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. <laughs> we can see ghosts psycho. now. Ghosts. Oh shit! It's paranormal activity. <laughs> paranormal activity on a budget of zero dollars. Just me reaching back <laughs> so in. Paranormal the door. activity. <laughs> so paranormal activity. <laughs> Fair enough. That is an excellent point, Skip. Thanks. <laughs> no worries. Tyler's new name is Skip now. <laughs> Tyler, Tylena, and now Skip. Sweet. We'll just I have more names him, than you guys. He's, we'll just keep giving him different identities until <laughs> you know, <laughs> until we're done with him, and then we'll send him away. <laughs> dang, dang, uh, <laughs> dang. Uh, aside from aside from like unboxing the PS4 and spending some time with that and being super super happy with it, um, 
not a lot else is new, I guess. Um, although I do have to, I do have to register a complaint, and this complaint I'm registering with Eastlink, oh, who is my shit. service provider. We got, we're gonna have beef now. I guess we're gonna have some beef now. So, we were on a a plan for the for the house here. So they're watch surf and talk, so it's their television, their internet, their phone. Or whatever, and we were on like a, a promo thing because we were going to go to Bell, so they gave us a promo for a year, so that ran out. So I was like, okay, fair enough. It's you know, obviously it's going to run out. So I kind of we called them again because it was just like you know your your regular price for this is like one ends up being like one seventy something with tax, and it's just like we just feasibly we just can't really justify a f- like paying that much right uh when when we can go to bell and they'll lock in 120 bucks for two years like i mean we can't really justify it right um so east link was like well what we can do is we can because there's two tvs in the house there's mine and there's mom's and it's like we can swap one of your hd boxes for a pvr and if we do that we can give you a pvr promo deal for a year so I was like, okay, cool. And it ended up being like, it's like 130 or something a month. I was like, okay, that's fine. So I get this PVR. The PVR is like it was built in the 20s. Like this thing is like, it's a VCR. Mm-hmm. Like it's huge. But the size of it isn't really what bothers me. What really bothers me is the fucking sound. Because it's in it's in my bedroom, my bedroom for everyone on the internet who doesn't know, um, except if you watch me on my cam shows. Um, <laughs> Nine ninety nine a month <laughs> per minute. Silk um, sheets, <laughs> candles everywhere. It's uh, it, a real. It, it, it's ambiance. really heaven. It is. It is. If you, mean, if it, any girl who wants to see it, I mean, they can. He is. He is the ex art of cam shows. <laughs> Try to keep it classy. Um, <laughs> my bedroom is like seven feet by eleven feet. Like it's not a big room. It's basically it's glorified walk-in closet. Um, so I take this PVR and I set it up, and if it's plugged in, it sounds like a single-engine Cessna taking off. <laughs> like even if it's not powered on, like you, I can power the machine off, and it still sounds exactly the same. Because basically all it is is it comes from that generation of, of of DVRs where the DVRs were just glorified computer towers. Okay. Like they basically just stuck a hard drive in this HD box so that you could record. Right. And like, you know, play back uh, or rewind live television and all that stuff. I'm not saying it doesn't do its job because it does, but the fucking sound is ridiculous. And the power consumption is ridiculous. Well, I would, I would, I would take back. But that, that, that's the thing. That's the only one they have. It's the only DVR aside from the Maestro, which is an extra service. It's an extra fee for the Maestro DVR. How is that the only DVR that they have? It's 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 literally the only one that they that they will use. Mm. Or sorry, the the only other one that they use is an older model of the same thing. So it's like, it just does the I mean, same Bell thing. Bell has more than one uh, fucking... Yeah, uh, no, they, no, they do. They e- do. Rogers has more than one <laughs> PVR. Well, I mean, come East on, Link's, guys. East Link's a little welfare in that, uh, in that sense, I guess. Um, so basically what I've taken to doing is unplugging it at night. Because I literally can't sleep. If the thing's plugged in. I mean, you can't sleep. To... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to the sound of the fucking lawnmower going off. Like, I, I can't I, I can't sleep through it. So I've just, I've taken to unplugging it at night. And uh, one of the Eastlink reps told me, you know, you really shouldn't do that because it's not good for the machine. I'm like, I don't care. It's your machine. <laughs> if it Damn. breaks, I'm just taking it back and getting a new one. <laughs> like, it's not, I didn't pay any down payment on this thing. Like, I'm not... I'm not physically abusing it. I'm just doing what I need to do to sleep at night. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, well, you know, you could always just switch it with your other TV. And I was like, okay, that, yeah, that puts it out in the living room. That's great. But then it's running 24 hours a day 
s- like eating my power bill. <laughs> mm. So now I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna keep doing it like this. <laughs> so I'm basically at the point now where I just unplug my fucking DVR every night, and I got a better solution for you. Switch to go Bell. to Bell. Yeah, that's what everybody keeps saying. This is like I don't know. I I have there's I hear so many fucking horror stories from Bell from their mobile division and from like you know home entertainment and things like that i just i hear so many and there's horror stories for everybody but i hear so many like really bad stories from bell of like phantom charges coming out of nowhere and and all this stuff so like i don't know we just like mom mom and i talked about it and i was like do you want to go to bell she's like not really i was like i don't really don't want to either so i guess we're gonna stay with east link um but uh, it sounds like Eastlink is fucking you over. Well, I mean, the, the, it's not. You know, it's not great. <laughs> it's not. It's not great. Um, but I mean, you know, we'll we'll stick with this for a little while. But I still got the Bell guy's phone number. So, damn, you got his phone number? I do. Did you buy him a drink first? He's gonna be on one of my shows. <laughs> <laughs> Team two for one special. Shit. I thought Nick was like leaning in. Yeah, <laughs> like Nick, not now. <laughs> Nick's just like, tell me more. <laughs> what about Tyler? What's new in Tyler's What's, life? Uh, Tylena, Tylena, or Skip. Skip? Um, nothing. I write for MediaDetour dot com. Um, although I will say, say the line. Media. You guys say it because your not, detour it, for media on, on the dot com. com. It's not even the official, like, Fuck you, it's the official (laughs) tagline. That's why I don't say it, because it's not like it's the official thing. It is. Um, It is now. (laughs) So, damn. Uh, We're taking over. We're taking over, kid. Good, you guys can do all the fucking writing. (laughs) (laughs) No, now you don't want it You still write. You still write. We just own. All right. Sweet. Um, This is... This is about video games, but this is what's new in my life. All right. And I feel like Nick, I feel, I don't know for sure, but I feel like Nick will be a little disappointed in me. But maybe I could be, I could be wrong. So I sat down recently and for the first time ever, I played StarCraft 2. And I say Nick because you look like the kind of guy that would play it. Have you played StarCraft 2? I have. I'm not, I'm not sold with StarCraft 2. Okay. StarCraft, the regular StarCraft and Brood Wars is where it's at. Because you struck me as a type that plays those types of games. Justin doesn't really... I know jo- I know Justin. He sucks. I know. <laughs> but I sat down and played StarCraft 2. And it was like one of the... <laughs> Don't cry while I'm talking. <laughs> Why? The rest of the podcast is just Justin <laughs> crying. <laughs> Please stop making fun of me. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all that's new. Because it was one of my great blasphemies. Like, I haven't played StarCraft 2. What? So what did you think of StarCraft? I actually really like it. Yeah. I just... I don't know why I never played it. I just didn't. And Because you were a console elitist? Be- no, because no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing an article eventually that's my top 100 games of the decade so far and there's a f- there's some games i'm not going to get to play to make this list which is really ambitious by the way <laughs> it's because i couldn't cut it down to 50 I, <laughs> I was going through my list and i was at 72 and i was like huh i'm not even done my list because i went through with a rough list of games that might make it right and then i go through with the games that will probably make it and that list was still at 70 some and i wasn't even done yet oh, i was wow. like maybe i'll just do 100 Yep. So I actually had 107 by the end of it. So I still had to cut seven away. Mm. That's what honorable mentions is for. Yeah. So you're you're going with because this is just games from 2010. Yeah, 2010 to 2014. Wow. Um, I know it's ridiculous. Like I thought about that and I thought, holy fuck, I've played a lot of games. <laughs> like imagine if I was to sit down and do like my favorite games of all time. Like it would be really hard now. Yeah, I think it would it would be because like, like in five years, you also kind of have to fight off nostalgia when you do something like yeah. that, right? But yeah, I played StarCraft. A couple games I I won't get to play unfortunately is like Super Mario Galaxy, and I don't know there's some other ones. But that's what's new. StarCraft Two. <laughs> Welcome to 2010, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> 
No Holds Barred continuing its proud tradition of being on the cutting edge <laughs> of what is new <laughs> yeah. and fresh. 